What's the crack? Welcome to today's episode. My name is David Kelly, I'm the Irish Guy Vlogs. Thank you so much for joining me today. So in my last video I said that I was going on a bit of a trip. I said I was going to leave Ireland and I technically have left Ireland. I've left the mainland anyway at least and I'm here on the Aran Islands on Inishmore. And the reason I'm here is because of a very very special event that takes place here once a year. And that event is called TED Fest. And this is TED Fest's 14th year. And TED Fest, if you don't know, is the celebration of the Irish TV show, Father Ted. It's one of the best TV shows ever made. It's hilarious. And if you haven't seen it, I suggest that you pause this video, go and watch all three seasons of it, and then come back. But if you are a Father Ted fan, stay tuned because you're gonna love this. Like, I've been a Father Ted fan for years. I've wanted to come here for so long. And I'm finally here. I finally get to see what TED Fest is all about. And I'm so excited. And I just can't wait. I can't wait to just do this. But the weather here is terrible at the minute, it's really windy, it's really rainy and the ferry across this morning was absolutely horrible, it was really really rough. The boat is literally like going like this, the boat is going up and down and people are freaking out a little bit, it's really bad. So I think at one stage we left like we were completely out of the water at one stage. I keep on looking out the window and looking at the horizon and I'm starting to feel a bit sick. I really hope we get there soon. So I'm staying here in the pier house. It's probably one of the first buildings you're going to see when you get off the boat in uh, Inishmore. There's two other guys staying with me, Gavin and Rory. Seriously, I've been wanting to come here for years. I'm not even joking. Like when I first heard about it like 10, 12 years ago, God, I need to go to this place because it's like a pilgrimage, you know? You kind of qualify just by being here on the island. You're, you know you're already part of the crowd, if that makes sense. But anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Let's just jump right into Ted Fest 2020. Woo! Careful now. You can see things have already kicked off here, it's absolutely crazy. Yeah, as you can see, like it's a good laugh. It's a little bit uh, non-PC, which I like about it, because you know, this world is getting way too politically correct, and you have to have the laugh, and you have to be able to poke fun at yourself. So it's cool to see this kind of stuff, and uh, yeah, it's been a good day so far. If 
for about 10 or 15 minutes now to do all this That's it. My real name is uh, John Bottrell. I come from Australia. I came here in uh, 2013 first. <laughs> Fell in love with Ireland and the people and have been back every year since. And since then, uh, in 2015, I met my lovely partner here, Doris. There she is there. So, we're, we're a living example of uh, what love can do in Tedfest. Oh, love and tender. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Father John. Does it look like a face? Thank you, Father. Father, what luck? It's a little bit tight. Hang on. Okay, there you go. That's the best thing that is it. No, 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 definitely not, Father. Sure, let me put, there we go. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> People in the past have told me I've got a lovely voice. Very like Celine Dion. So I thought, fuck it, I'll embrace it. A lady in shark's clothing. Every night in my dreams. I see you, I feel you, that is how I know you, go on. Bye the Joe Hall, ladies and gentlemen. So it's Saturday morning, 22nd of February, and this is the newest wave of Ted Festers that have arrived off the boat. I get the feeling it's going to be a lot busier today, a lot more hectic and a lot crazier. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. So yeah, let's go. So this is the five aside uh, blur versus oasis. To find out who is officially better, is it blur or is it oasis? And you know the rules, you cannot run uh, and uh, the ball must not leave the ground. And the sister step ladder is the ref there, she's obviously uh, a member of the IRA as well. <laughs> the ball is kind of leaving there. Oh that's too high, too high there, very dangerous. She didn't like the look of him. He look, he's a priest but he looks like a Protestant. And uh, this time it's uh, Blur, and they've scored! Blur have scored, it's 1-0, to... and the game is over! There they are, they're all they've turned up there. Uh, I, think, I don't think stretching's gonna help you here. Get him out. Yeah, we're right together, we're right together. Blur are here, they'll be playing uh, against the wind in the first half. Oh, one of the masks has fallen already. Penalty. It's a penalty, already it's a penalty! He's asking for a whistle before he takes it. There's an injury! This is good news! And we're going to have a look at him now. The Amish lady is going to go off and give him a hug. And that's the cure any strain that you might have. 4-0. And the, and the gold. They get two goals for knocking the goal over. So it's 5 now. So everybody on your knees. Maybe say a prayer as well. And it's off, and this is the, the proper, this is proper over 70s football now, this is how it's in the place. Just knee it. 
So, uh, oh, look at that diving header. Unbelievable. He almost went underground for that diving header. And that is half time. What is it? That's full time. Sorry. <laughs> we just didn't have a second half. Anyway, so uh, that's it. So Oasis are in the final. There is no final. That was the final. So there was one semi-final and a final. That was, but how did that work out? Oasis are the winner of the final. And so if the lads will come up here and collect their prize. They're getting their medals now. Well done, well done, well done. Well done. Well done. So the uh, winner of the final is Oasis! I think there's chemistry there. What do you think? I know, he'll, he'll turn his head. Who's the fellow? Is it okay? Eugene! Mustard! Okay, Eugene! You're a bit unsure. Yeah, there's a fraternity test going on. Oh, I'm just out taking a break because it's just, it's crazy inside. What an awesome day it's been though. Got to meet Father Damo, got to meet Owen McLove. It's only the second day of Father Ted and like it's been an unbelievable crack so far, honestly. Like it's so, so good. It's like everyone is just locked up on this island for the weekend and it's just craziness and it's awesome. Don't forget to subscribe.